What's up gecko people? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the diseases and disorders that can plague your crested gecko and how to avoid them. One of the most serious diseases in crested geckos, and any other reptile for that matter, is metabolic bone disease. Metabolic bone disease, or MBD, can be easily prevented with the right amount of supplementation and nutrition. If you feed your crested geckos the proper diets with a side of dusted crickets, there should be no reason for your animal to develop metabolic bone disease. Crickets should be dusted with a calcium powder containing D3 and occasionally with some vitamins and minerals called Reptivites. These supplementing powders can be found at your local pet store. Some signs of metabolic bone disease can be an underbite, an overbite, deformation in the spine, or lumps and bumps along the limbs or sometimes in the head of the animal. Crested geckos are very susceptible to floppy tail syndrome. Floppy tail syndrome is when the, tail, the base of the tail isn't strong enough to support the weight of the tail and it causes the tail to flop over the head of the gecko or by its side when it's hanging upside down. Floppy tail does not affect the breeding of a crested gecko but it can leave some pelvic deformities in the base of the tail. Some people may confuse floppy tail syndrome as a sign of metabolic bone disease. These two are not always linked together. Just because an animal has floppy tail syndrome doesn't mean it has metabolic bone disease. Some ways to prevent floppy tail syndrome is obviously to supplement the animal with the vitamins and minerals it needs and to provide enough foliage, branches and other materials in their, in their enclosure so they can climb and they can exercise their tail. Floppy tail syndrome is not always a sign for not buying an animal. It does not hinder its health in any way. A healthy animal will appear to be plump and active and try to stay away from any animal that appears lethargic or sluggish. The best way to prevent any of these diseases in your crested geckos is to feed the proper diets which are Rapeshi crested gecko diet, Pangea fruit mix, Vicky's Big Fat Gecko Diet, Clark's Diet, and many others. The most readily available diets right now are the Rapashi and the Pangea Fruit Mix Diets. Aside from that, you should always keep your enclosure clean. As soon as it starts getting too soiled up, clean it out. And make sure that the water dish or food dish are not growing any type of bacteria. You can make sure of this by cleaning out the food dishes and water dishes every other day or so. Make sure that the crested gecko has an optimal humidity and that there is enough airflow in the enclosure. 